fantastic day so in today's video i'm going to show you some tips on getting enough sleep if you are having difficulty sleeping or you find it difficult to sleep the seven to eight hours that's required for a healthy living you're not alone i'm just here to assist you we all know that if you don't get enough sleep it is your health that pays dearly for it you need to just sit back and watch this video to the end and you should be saying thank you if you're yet to subscribe to my channel please do also click on the subscribe button now it's showing on your screen by the right and do also turn on the notification bell to also get notifications whenever new videos are uploaded on the pre TV. So we should look at some kind of habits you have before we talk about giving you the remedy, before I talk about how you can get enough sleep. So there are some things you might probably be doing that are causing you lack of sleep. You might not be taking these things, but if you're taking them, you should desist from them. If you take a lot of alcohol, if you take coffee, and if you take a lot of sugar, it could result to some sleepless nights, right? So if you take all of these things, try to reduce them or stop them totally until you regain a healthy sleep. The hormone that is responsible for the sleep is melatonin, but some factors can result in... Um, not making you sleep enough if for instance your body is not producing enough melatonin that's to say you will not sleep the required hours okay my number one food that has a lot of melatonin walnuts consuming walnuts will help you a lot so when you should consume the walnut is when it's about two hours to when you want to sleep two hours to bedtime consume some quantity of walnut is going to help uh, help the hormone to build fast and you get enough rest if you have ever imagined the world itself the world itself has different continents and all of these continents have their different time zone so let's say for instance i'm in nigeria the time zone of nigeria is different from many parts of the world let me use the u.s for instance why do people adapt so much like when you are in nigeria the time zone is different but when you go there you cannot sleep while people are walking and walk while people are sleeping so it is that melatonin that's produced when it's getting dark when it's getting dark it's natural made by god for your body to start producing that hormone when the sun is going down and the day is getting darker your body start producing that hormone so if that hormone is not produced enough you need to assist yourself so walnut is very good to help the melatonin in your body eat walnut two hours to bedtime and it will help you have enough sleep another food that contains melatonin is tart cherries so if you are not used to walnut you can take some tart cherries either you can take them in their raw state or you can take them as juice so the way you take them actually is different from the way you take your walnut for walnut you just take some quantity to ask for bedtime but if you're going for tart cherries you should take them in the morning and take them at night say two hours again before bedtime and you should have enough rest number two is take seafood that contains omega-3 fatty acid now the reason you should take omega-3 fatty acid because omega-3 fatty acid helps to boost melatonin you can take some other food like kidney beans eggs you can also take chicken breasts all of this food i've just mentioned and you can do more research to get some other food that contains omega-3 fatty acid number three on my list is white rice now experts have come out to say that if you are suffering from sleepless nights you have difficulty in sleeping you should take a plate full of white rice at least four hours before you go to bed so now this school of thought also says though brown rice is very good and it's healthy for you if you are the type who takes brown rice you can consider withdrawing from brown rice for the meantime take the white rice and when you have your steady sleep already or healthy sleep already you can go back to your brown rice number four on my list is amino acid so try to consume food that contains amino acid amino acid is associated to a better sleep so if you have difficulty sleeping take food like turkey you can eat turkey three times daily for the period that you are suffering from the sleepless night or unhealthy sleep other sources of amino acid could be egg whites and pumpkin leaves so consume all of these a lot is going to help you 
have a better sleep number five on my list is vitamin d now research has shown that people who are deficient in vitamin d have difficulty in sleeping so if you are deficient in vitamin d there is every probability that you will not have a healthy sleep now the last video i dropped was on depression and when i went on researching they said people who are depressed should consume food that has a lot of vitamin D and it's going to help. So this is associated that if you're depressed, you cannot sleep. Sleeplessness is a symptom of depression. So it's kind of associated to consume food that has a lot of vitamin D. So I'm just going to link that video to this one so that you can know the food. I made a list of some food that contains vitamin D. So I did not mention this one in that video so I'm going to list it here which is milk. Not all milk are fortified with vitamin D but some milk are fortified with vitamin D so you take a lot of milk too. So when you go to the market or you go to your stores to get milk, try to check the content of the milk to see if it contains vitamin D do that also take a glass of milk in the morning and take a glass of milk in the evening it also contains vitamin d the sixth on my list is magnesium magnesium plays a vital role in a healthy sleep you should consume food that contains some good quantity of magnesium because deficiency in magnesium spells problem for your bedtime at least your body needs some good percentage of magnesium a day and some good sources of magnesium are cashew nuts spinach you can incorporate spinach in your meal you can take um, cashew nuts during your in-between meals and it's just going to help you if you can incorporate all of these in your daily habits you should experience a healthy sleep so no one should suffer from sleeping disorder a sleeping disorder is not good there are, there are very few nights I'm not able to sleep and I know how I feel when I'm not able to sleep for two hours. It's probably something is bothering me and I'm not able to sleep for two hours. I know how it is. Not to talk of those who um, have this occurrence over and over again. So I know how it is guys. So do try out this remedy and you should be thankful that you did watch this video to the end. So guys, do well to give this video a thumb up because I know this one has been useful to you and don't forget to drop your thoughts down in the comment section below if you also have other remedy to a better sleep a better sleep life then you should do well to drop them in the comment section below because they will be useful to others who are visiting this community so don't also forget to share this video on all your social media platforms because you never might know who will just need this video and uh, before you go guys if you're here to subscribe to my channel do want to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell and guys i'll see you in my next one bye bye